Hey everybody, it's Project King back again for another video. It's been almost a year since we've done this video uh, with the, the DX6 and the Blade Nano QX. And uh, time flies when you're having fun. So since that time, DX6 software has been updated. So if you saw my previous video, I updated the software and showed you how to do that using an SD card. Um, so now we're going to actually reprogram the, the uh, Blade Nano QX to work with the new software. Now it's not really going to change this a lot. Um, there's, a, there's a few features that I ought to tell you about with the new software. So the new software, and we're going to go ahead and turn the radio on while we're talking. The new software basically uh, allows you to do channel, it changes the channel names to uh, altitude, roll, pitch, and yaw. Um, you can do some pre-flight checklists, warning, and voice alerts, and those have been updated for multi-rotors like this. Um, it also has center tones, so when you go to center on the stick, it will actually beep. Um, that's another feature, and there's a lot of other features like uh, head tracking and that type of thing for first-person video. We're not going to get into any of those actually this time. You can get online and read about those on, in the manual. What we are going to do is go ahead and reprogram the Nano with the new software. So let's do that now. I'm going to show you how to do that. This should be now the new reference video for doing uh, the DX6 program to the Nano QX, uh, replacing the old video I had posted. All right, let's get started. So we have the radio, obviously. We have the quadcopter. Make sure you have a battery available. And to access the radio, first of all, we're going to hold the button down, the scrolling wheel button. Hold that down and turn the radio on. That's going to take us into system setup. There we go. Now the first step is we want to delete the old program for this quadcopter. So let's go down to model utilities go to delete model hopefully you can see that and we want to delete nano so we hit delete so I scroll over see how I'm scrolling with the wheel and depress that alright it's deleted now we're gonna go to the list now so we're gonna make a new video let's or excuse me <laughs> yeah obviously we're making a new video we're gonna make a new model so here we go. Let's go to Model Select. And there's the other two models I have in there, the Cub S and a, another experimental one. Um, so we're going to click on Add New Model. And yes, we want to create a new model. All right, now we're going to scroll down to Model Type. And now notice we have a multi-copter, which is pretty cool. So at least when you uh, have your radio running, it doesn't look like an airplane. It'll look like a, the actual aircraft you're flying. See the similarity there? All right, so click on that. Yes, we want to hit, we want to reset data. So we hit yes on that. We go to model name and we're going to rename it. So you, using the wheel, you scroll through. So I'm going to make it nano. So I use the wheel and then I depress it when I find the letter I want. So I'm going to spell nano quickly here. If I can remember my alphabet. And then we can put a space there. There we go. All right. Now we hit back. Now we're going to exit go back into the flight mode now if you notice it says flight mode 2 and nano um, that's one of the new features Let's see if you can hear the sound Volume 50. Volume 100. there you go it's kind of distorted but this flight mode is a flight new mode feature three. for multi-copters. So if you're running like an APM uh, controller or maybe a DJI where you have these multiple flight modes, that's what that 
button is and it's or toggles for and it's automatically programmed to do that now for our uh, blade nano QX we have a agility and a stability mode and that's set up from the factory to use this toggle um, so we really don't program that that'll be set up automatically for us um, all right so next thing we want to do is our expo so let's go into D and R and expo now if you watched the original video you know that in the manual we have an expo setting um, and dual rate setting now we really don't mess with the exponential setting but we do use dual rate so what we're going to do is we're going to limit it, limit how how aggressive the quadcopter flies in mode zero um, in this makes it much easier to fly it doesn't make it as twitchy basically or as sensitive to the stick so um, we're going to use this F toggle and uh, so let's go ahead and set that up so our first one is going to be the roll we're going to go down to switch and when you're there click on that and that starts flashing now you're just going to simply switch the switch that you want to use so now see it switched to switch F now we're going to go up to dual rate and we're going to scroll over to 70%. So just reduce that down to 70%. Hit enter. Now, notice I'm going to switch it to position 1. Now it's back to 100. That's great. We're going to leave that alone. That's what the manual says to use. All right, so we have that taken care of. Let's go up to channel and now select pitch. All right, so that's going to be this attitude of the aircraft. We've done roll, now we're going to do pitch. All right, so let's go down to switch, depress our button for that, and toggle the switch. Hit enter, depress the button. Now we have switch F selected. Notice it now switch. Now we're going to go up to dual rate. Let's reduce that down to 70% again, just like we did before all right now position one is 100 percent position zero is 70 percent watch as i cycle that there we go that's all we got to do all right let's see the last thing we're going to do is the uh, timer setup so let's look at that now notice there's also this motor cut feature um, that's also a new feature for the multi-copter uh, again refer to the manual for that we really are not going to use that on this little nano QX let's go to the timer so what we want to do is have a timer start when we increase the throttle so based on experience and this is something I'm changing from the last video I'm going to set that timer to four minutes. Um, of course, the throttle stick starts it, and this indicates if it's over 25%, it will start the timer. So I'm going to reduce that down to 20% for this particular model. Hit enter. Now, let's go set up some voices. These are always kind of cool because it has the English lady talking to you, and uh, so let's set up the one minute tone. So when when the uh, timer is to one minute, it will talk to me telling me I have one minute to uh, fly. And uh, I'm gonna leave everything else alone. Of course, you can go through there and fully customize that as you wish. All right, I think that's it. Um, now we're gonna do the binding procedure. So let's go back into system setup all the way back down there we go and now we're gonna find scroll down with our wheel and find bind and there it is all right so we're gonna take our quadcopter slide this over so you can see it we're gonna plug it in and I want you to look at the light Notice it's flashing blue very quickly. That means it's in bind mode. 
So now I'm going to select bind with my wheel and I'm going to hit bind. Binding, flight mode 2, DSMX, 22 milliseconds. Telemetry, bind complete. There it goes, it's all done. That fast. So notice the, the light is blue now on the quadcopter and that means it's ready to go. There you go. It's that easy. Now, it takes a while to learn this stuff, so I'm glad I've gotten a lot of feedback on the videos that people appreciated uh, uh, me posting them. Um, I, I had a little bit of trouble learning it, and I thought, hey, I'm going to make a video so everyone else can, can save some time and get to flying quicker. Um, one thing I want to note, as I did in the original video, when you start your quadcopter, let's go ahead and, and uh, unplug it. And what we're going to do is we're going to rebind it again. This would be a normal setup now. So I'm going to power on the, the uh, transmitter. All right, it's ready to go. Now I'm going to plug in the quadcopter. And you want to make sure you put it down quickly on a level surface so that it is leveled and is calibrated for f level flight. If you're holding it at an angle, it thinks that is level and it'll fly very awkward. So that's it. Let's hold our finger down, watch your fingers, of course. And just make sure it be preforms appropriately on the, on the throttle controls and the directional controls. And that's it. Maybe we can do a little flying for you. So, until next time, thanks for watching Project King videos. We really appreciate your support. We must be close to a thousand subscribers now. I can't believe it. And uh, it's been a good time, and I'll keep making videos. So, until next time, happy flying.